Ugh, disgusting. Oh, rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Oh, looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Oh God, those are human teeth. No way to get this alight. I wonder if I could use it for something else. Jailer, please. Shut it. Please come here. <laughs> I wonder what she's done. <clears throat> uh, hello. I excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. Uh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father, whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. That's what getting out of here means to me. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please. Please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Oh, no, no. Come on, you! No! no! Oh, please! Wait, wait! No! Get off! Shut your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. You backstabbing shit. You have a nerve. <laughs> There's no need for that, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. 
and I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath, and you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half the chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which was why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. But... It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain.
I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Don't worry, she's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. <sighs> Remember your promise, Garrett. Ah! You said you'd leave me behind. Ah! To help Sylvie. Cotter! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. I wish I could. But I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But he can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. <sighs> Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors? They're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. I can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use a dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> Good. Now grab his heart. Quickly. While his blood still pulses through it. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Don the Dreoric Ike Sprague. 
Svolgenes fobule. Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body 